It's got some music going on. Oh, that's all the way down. Okay, we need to try to remember what friends we had with us. Oh my goodness. Stinky, maybe? What do we have? Blip provides you with info that... Yeah, don't need that. Nash viciously attacks the aliens, but will snack on one of your guppies from time to time. Right, uh, man. Jumping right in at level 4 4 is not gonna go well. Nimbus. Wadsworth. Zorf. I feel like we had Zorf around, right? Because he was spitting out food. And then Prego spits out babies. Which we want, because we want more fish. And then did we have Nash? Because he, he eats her babies. He helps keep us full. Or maybe we had Nico? I don't remember. I don't remember. Itchy, maybe? We'll try this. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't remember how the game works. We'll just keep our fish fed, and it'll be fine. So you've got a certain amount of money. Every time you click, you put, money, you put fish in the tank. $5 per food. You get upgrades that slowly unlock here. Um, your goal is to unlock every single one of these uh, sections, essentially, to pass the level. Um, and you get partner fish that will kind of do what they tell you to do. And this uh, Zorf is spitting out food every now and then. She's spitting out little fish, and this guy's going to help us attack any aliens that may or may not show up. I don't know who this guy is and where he came from, but it's probably fine. Try to keep him fed. Money will drop as well, randomly, which is important. You need to collect it before it hits the ground. Come on, eat up. It gets kind of mad. We're starting off pretty chill here, but uh, it's going to pop off pretty quickly. I don't know... Um, Oh, yep, yeah, here comes the aliens. Here we go. Who do we got first? Who do we got first? Oh my god. Skull boy. Stay away from my fish! It's basically fish cook cooker. Yep, yeah, that's the best way to look at it. No, my fish! Get away. Made by Popcap, Popcap as well, which same guys that did Plants vs. Zombies. Um, and Peggle. Uh... So you can kind of understand what kind of game it is from that, yeah. Uh, but you, you just need to pass the level. So once once you get far enough, once you get an, a certain amount of fish, uh, you'll unlock an egg, and you just need to build the three sections of the egg by just spending money. So the whole goal is to make money. And right now we can only drop one food pellet at a time. If we upgrade, we can get we can now drop two at a time, which is very helpful. Because there can there can be quite a lot of fish around all at once. Uh, we do need a new breeder. Oh boy! Certain fish will only eat certain other types of fish. Certain fish will only eat certain types of food. Certain fish won't attack certain fish won't swim it's 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 wild <laughs> it's it's wild cn is playing destiny 2 oh god fish why are you all down at the bottom get those fish up top no get those fish up top oh they're all dead Oh, man. Ugh, so many fish just died. Okay, that's fine. We can repopulate. We can regrow. We must. It's in our nature. To grow and survive. Start upgrading our food. 
food and stuff too, though. Maybe if we do like uh, one one round of these, like at the beginning or in the middle or at the end of every stream or something like that, we'll have this game finished eventually. I mean, we're gonna play it for an hour here now, but then after that, if we're not finished, we'll have to we'll have to slowly upgrade it a bit. Okay, that's maxed. Okay, we're getting there. Come on, dig in, everybody. Get your get your food. Get, eat your pills. Eat your fish pills before the aliens get here. Here they come. I really need to mash this clicking more. Ooh, get away! First head down. Only one, two casualties, maybe? Not bad, not bad. Get our new, some new fishes. Eat your dinner. Here you go, come on, dig in. Don't want you dying from starvation. We got plenty of food to go around. Plenty of food for every fish. Come on, dig in. I never, I never thought we'd be back here. Honestly, playing this game, I never, I never thought we'd be here again. Uh, myself and some friends used to spend uh, like once a year. We used to hang out at Tim Hortons and see how long we could stay there for before either getting kicked out or just the day would end. Um, so we went there. We were we were at Tim Hortons for 17 hours, at least once or twice. We were there for the full day, from start from open to close. And one of those days, I decided to bring my laptop, and I just spent the entire day there playing Insane Aquarium to try to beat it before we had to leave that day. And I think I did it. I remember I remember my arm hurt quite a bit because I was just clicking so much. But um, I think I did beat it afterwards. But ever since then, I've decided no, I need I need it to be on stream that that happens. No, no, no! Two aliens at once, man. That's brutal. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Definitely lost some guys there, but wasn't wasn't too bad. Another breeder in here, maybe. Maybe even another. Don't see anybody dying from starvation yet either, which is great. Maybe you down there. You fed. Oh boy, all right. It's pick. It's picking up. It's picking up. I might actually have to have. A carnivore, yeah, to unlock everything else. Okay, cool. The carnivore will provide better money, but he also will eat your fish, the baby fish. So that's why we've got the pregnant one out here because they will make sure to munch on the newborn baby fish and not our money giving big fish, <laughs> which is great. Look at how much the egg pieces are going to cost, though. We're going to be here forever. Multiple alien signatures detected. Okay, here we go. More aliens to fight. Oh, these ones again! Honestly, the Clay Fighter 33 and a third or whatever sends those balls around and they just do so much damage. That was brutal. We lost a lot of guys there. Oh, I think we lost a carnivore there too. I need I need to upgrade the weapon so that we do more damage when they show up. Let's try to get that sooner than later. Yeah, let's grab it now. Aliens seem to be our biggest problem, so we'll focus on that for now. Okay, we don't want to 
want to see any green fish. Come on, eat your food, eat your veggies, eat your greens. Come on, everybody. I think the ultra carnivores will only eat regular carnivores as well. So you've got to like make sure you've got a fair supply of regular carnivores, which is difficult on its own. But then to get an ultivore is just like, what? People have to, though. To get the amount of money that we're going to need for that egg piece. I need to make some improvements, or this is just going to take forever. This, Sassy, this is Insane Aquarium. This is a game where you're mm. running a fish tank, but sometimes aliens will show up, and you've got to defend your fishes. Thank you for the nut, John. Pre appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, all right. All right. Uh, there's a lot of clicking in this game. Uh, yeah, you raise the fish, the grown fish drop money, you use the money to unlock new fish, and eventually complete the level by completing all three sections of the egg. Each section of the egg this time around are going to be 75,000 each, which is insane. So we're going to focus on upgrading our attacks so that when the aliens show up, we can get rid of them super quickly. So that way, hopefully, we can hold on to our money a bit longer. I'm missing a lot. I know, I know. It's so hard to click it all. It's so hard. I just, I need to focus on keeping the green fish fed. That's all that matters, really. everybody fed and alive and just trying to click as much as you possibly can and defending from the aliens that's the most important part we might need to get one of the pets that takes all the money off of the ground because that seems to be where all of our money is going lately oh we just lost so many fish okay that wasn't so bad we we really we lost quite a few guys there actually that was pretty bad quite a few Big lads as well. We need to regrow more. We just grow more fish. Fish are replaceable. My money is not. <laughs> Advil, that's exactly how this game feels. It's just fish everywhere. Just heckin' fish everywhere. <clears throat> We need, we need to keep some carnivores alive. We need to get... Ah, oh, see, one of our carnivores just died because there were no baby fish around to eat. We need to keep an eye on them. Because if we don't raise healthy carnivores, then we can't get ourselves an ultravore, which will drop so much money if we can keep it alive. We need to make sure we've got a healthy supply of baby fish. Can we afford... A money fish? Uh, we get to pick three partners right now. One of them is a money fish. Uh, so we don't need to buy it. We just need to choose it before we go into this level. But you can only have three friend fish at once, right? So you got to kind of pick who you want to use. Really think about what your strategy is going to be before going in. Die, alien. Stop eating my fish. No, no, no. Go back to the bottom of the tank. There's also, there's a fish that will keep all of your, like, babies safe. We might need to get that guy, because we keep losing a lot of our younger fish to, to the aliens. Yeah, there's, there's like a whole strategy to think about and stuff, too. But, I mean, you can get pretty far by just aimlessly clicking and hoping for the best. This might take you a little while. All right, we've got how many carnivores alive right now? One. Should we get an omnivore? Do we risk it? That's 10k to waste on a fish that might just end up dead in a second. We'll grab a few more carnivores just to see if we can keep them alive for now. Not yet? No, I'm, I'm thinking the same. 
We're definitely going to reevaluate our partner fish. Because Prego is not spitting out as many babies as I'd like her to. She's not supplying enough babies to keep all of our carnivores alive. And we've only got two or three carnivores. So we need to make a change there, I think. Because there, be, there should be plenty, plenty of baby fish to eat. Okay. Pipe two. Where are you, you bastard? Stay away from my fish. You gotta, like, get them in a corner and keep them there. So they don't swim around and murder everything. There we go. Upgrading the gun is also helping. Uh, we, could, we could get the final gun upgrade right now, actually. I think we might. Oh, that wasn't the final. Oh, shit. Okay. Whatever makes those aliens stay away. It's the clicking! <laughs> my, my arm is already hurting. An insane amount of clicking I have to do. But, yeah, the money is the money is increasing now. We're, the carnivores are doing their work. They're spitting out diamonds pretty quickly. I think diamonds are a hundred or a thousand each? I don't remember. Five hundred, maybe? Thousand seems like too much. All right, we might want to go with a. We might want to go with the ultravore now in a second. We've almost got enough to get two of them. We don't need two of them. I only want to. I'm only gonna get one, just in case. One alien shows up and he's dead in a single hit. So we'll wait until after this alien invasion and then we'll give it a go. Play face. Get out of here. No, the balls. Look at all the dead fish. From just two. From just two aliens. More than half of our fish population just got absolutely disintegrated. Alright, we're not doing omnivores. We're not doing it. No, no. The aliens are still doing way too much damage. I think it's the whale. The whale partner might uh, might save your your besties. Get some more carnivores in here. Get some more breeders in here. Whale protects small and medium, right? Okay. It might be a little time consuming, but honestly, this this setup is working right now. We're making money. Money's coming in. It's just gonna take a while. We won't be beating this tonight, there's no way. But we might try to do at least a level today, tomorrow, and Sunday. Just to make some progress in it, at least. Because I do want this magnet. Granted, the first 75% of this game, the VOD is, not, is missing. So you could argue that there is no video evidence, so I technically don't get the magnet, but... That was my birthday, so I think it's fine. I think it's fine. It's the same save file. There we go. See, I love it when that one shows up. That was super <laughs> easy. <laughs> ah, tragic. To deal with. All those dead fish, man. It is tragic. I agree. I agree, Nappa. This is, this is how the game is supposed to look, though. Messy. Just shit happening everywhere. Oh, man. Oh, man. I, I, it's hard to even think of something to say while I'm doing this. It's just, it's just, my mind is just so focused on where I'm clicking and where I'm looking and... I don't even have like all the upgrades and stuff yet, so like definitely room for improvement. <laughs> My arm. My arm. Let's grab the 
these upgrades as well because they're super, super cheap now compared to everything else. Okay. Multiple alien signatures detected. One more gun upgrade before they spawn. Where are you, you motherfuckers? Come here, you. Die. Die. Ah, oh, all right. We did lose quite a few, but not as many as we might have. That was definitely more helpful. All right. All right. All right. We, we still got a few carnivores bopping about as well. Drop a few more in the tank, and then we might grab our first omnivore or whatever he's called. Herb, herb, ultra, ultra vore. I know as soon... We're, we're waiting until the next alien invasion, because I know as soon as I buy, buy an Ultravore, the first fish that dies to an alien attack is going to be that. So. Oh, we're starting to get some kingfish now as well, which is huge. If a guppy survives long enough, it becomes a kingfish, and then it starts dropping even more money, which is huge. So it's a good idea to keep fish around for a long time. We got two kingfish at least. Almost at our first egg piece. Almost there. Okay. Come on, aliens. Where are you? I'm expecting you soon. There you are. Come on. Come out. Come out of your shell. Fuck off, Clayface! Die. Okay, definitely lost a few there. Kept some of our kingfish, though, which is great. You've got the curse. Hey, congratulations. Nice. Well done. Now you, too, can have Kraken ink link leaking from your eyes. Isn't it great? Isn't it great? I look away for a few minutes, and then there's a robot. Yeah. The robot is one of the many aliens that like to attack the, sh the, uh, the tank. You guys can see the mouse on screen, right? Okay, cool. Yeah, I think I'm going to wait for the aliens again, though. One more time, just in case. We've got three kingfish around. Quite a few carnivores. We'll drop a few more breeders in, just so we've got extra shore. We've got some babies floating around. And then these aliens should be here now in a second. I need, like, one of those websites that shows you how many times you've clicked <laughs> over a certain amount of time. One level of this is enough to drive your hand right off the wall. Get in that corner. Get in that corner away from my fish. No, a kingfish. We lost one. Okay. Now we're going to buy an Ultravore. Whoa, he's big. I don't know if I've ever done that before. Schizo, how's it going? How's magic? Were you enjoying yourself? I hope everybody had a good time. Or are you still doing it? Is it still going on? Man, that Ultravore should be able to freaking devour one of those aliens. On his own, honestly. I've been playing pickleball. Just getting into magic. Oh, I see. Okay. Nice. How How is the pickleball? Sounds like a good time. Who doesn't love a bit of pickleball? Pickles and balls? Are you kidding me? Hell yeah. Alright. We've got our first egg upgrade out of three. We're going to start seeing more of our fish turn into kings now soon, too, I think. Quite a, these, quite a few of these guys have been around for quite a while now, so. Play face! Protect the Ultravore. Protect the Ultravore! Okay, we got him. We got him. 
ladies and gentlemen. We got them. This is Mumble number five. Also applicable. Two very different things to start with, ladies and gentlemen, honestly. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Mumbo number five. Or, ladies and gentlemen, we just killed a terrorist. <laughs> it's like, oh. Okay. Quite, quite different subjects. All right, how are we doing on carnivores? I can only see two left, I think. Let's drop a few more of those in, drop a few more of those in, just to make sure we're doing all right. How long is one level of this going to take? I thought we might beat the game tonight, but we might not even manage to finish, like, all, two levels. I don't know. Please, please don't eat my kingfish. Thank you. Oh, boy. Okay, we're almost, we're, we're almost up to piece number two. I think it's just an Outlast game now at this point. We did lose our Omni fish, our big boy. I don't know when that happened. I missed it entirely. Which is a pain. I don't know if he starved or if he got hit by a laser. I, I didn't I didn't see. Oh, so many of you are hungry. Like double double finger tapping the, the click button right now. Yeah, I think I I think having someone I think the turtle or the 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 snail maybe collects all the things that land on the ground. I think that would be a huge a huge addition because I'm just clicking so much everywhere to keep things fed. There's so much shit on the bottom that is just getting missed. Oh God! Look at this! Look at all the fish up there! Got devoured. Ultra was right in the middle of the aliens as they spawned. Yeah, that's that's the, just the fucking luck, isn't it? That's just the luck. Right, but that's okay. We're about to hit enough now for piece number two. I think what we'll do though is we'll probably drop a few more breeders in. We'll drop a few more carnivores in, and we'll get a new ultravore just before we buy the upgrade because we don't want to be stuck with no money right after we buy the next piece you know what I mean we want our money to increase pretty fast after we get this next one because we want to make our way towards the last piece before too many alien attacks show up okay good 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 Trying to keep my eye on the Ultra Vore too, because I want to click the chests. They can be so hard to spot sometimes. And I don't know how much they're worth either. I'm assuming quite a bit, but. I don't have an exact number. We're losing the fish now to just pure starving. They can't they can't eat fast enough to get all of them saved. Nope. Bottom of the tank. Bottom of the tank. All right, one more piece left. A full egg, 75. So one more, one more push. One more push through. My brain cannot recognize what it's even looking at. It's just a massive flash of color on screen. <laughs> it's just insane. Insane aquarium, do you get it? Do you get it? I 
I think we'll probably... I think we'll probably say fuck the feeding, auto feeding, auto breeding. I think we'll fuck all of that. I think we'll just get fish that collect shit for us because we can't possibly collect all this stuff on our own. And we're missing so much money because of it and that's what we need the most. Like collecting the money is the most important. I mean, feeding the fish is important, but I think I'm doing that all right enough on my own. I don't think that one fish that spits out a piece of food every now and then is doing the work. 2k each. Okay, nice. Very cool. Definitely worth grabbing. I think that's the biggest currency, the, or the biggest amount that we can get right now is from the chests. Oh my god. Auto feeder does not scale well late game. No. I think I think I think we just need things to pick up stuff for us. Eat, 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 eat. Gotta starve the ultra. No! Alright, sorry. Uh, yeah, I saw your message a bit too late. I uh, read vores, but didn't quite understand what vores meant. Brain didn't clock it quick enough. But that's alright. We're, we're on our way to the final egg piece anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Look at all those green fish. I can't, I can't click food in fast enough. can click food in that fast enough, that's the problem. But I need to stop collecting money to put the food in. It's a balancing act. Oh my goodness. 35, okay. Type two again. Now, make your way into one of the corners, please, and then die. Oh, I have failed to upgrade the category. Oh my goodness. Can so, uh, while I'm clicking, Matt, can you update the game for me, please? I totally forgot. Thank you, Beckers. Thank you, thank you. up my precious my precious precious babies yeah this is such an old game i'm not surprised twitch doesn't know what it is <laughs> they've never heard of it oh that was not oh i thought it was beckers oh because you you tried to oh i see okay thank you for i thought i, I read beckers for some reason pink names not used to my own name in chat <laughs> back in play. I'd like to eventually get like a few Ultra Force, but again, like you, I, I don't think this is the build for it with these fish that I'm using. Okay, multiple alien signatures. All right, play face. You guys there okay. that was pretty good one two three four maybe like four or five fish died then but not very many it's a good save and we're almost done now anyway it'll be the last alien attack i would imagine holy shit holy shit my arm One seventy-four. Oh, those chests do push things up pretty quickly. Two K. We did it. Who did we get? Angie. Resurrect dead fish. Okay. All right. That's not bad. That's not too bad. Heroes never die. Exactly. Oh, it's Mercy, the angelfish. I love that. Beautiful. 
Okay, what do we have here? He keeps fish off the bottom. Resurrects dead fish. Attacks aliens, but will eat a guppy from time to time. That's not bad. Gumbo attracts guppies using the lantern on its head, luring them away from aliens. So this guy might be... Because he protects... The whale protects the babies, right? But he'll lure all the guppies away from the aliens. So that might be... We might, let's, let's, let's bring him with us. Um, Amp can electrocute your... Yeah, I don't want that. Nimbus tosses any coins or food he catches back up towards the top. Yeah. Can electrocute your entire tank, killing your fish and turning them into diamonds. Resurrect that... Yeah, but I don't know if it... If they'll resurrect all your fish. It seems like he'll kill all your fish. And I don't know when it happens. Like, do I get to choose when he does it? Or is he just going to do it randomly? Or is it when I click him? Because if it's when I click him, that sucks. Because I'm clicking, like, mad. And I don't know if Angie can, like, res one fish. Or, like, a few fish at a time. Like, I don't know how they work. So, it... I don't know. Having all of the coins and diamonds drift at a slower rate might be all right. Drop coins faster. Uh, pearls. Clyde drifts slowly through your tank, collecting any coins that passes by. This one might be good, right? Clyde and Stinky. They might be all right. These will protect our fish. These guys will help us collect all the money. Look, Yeah, look up some strats. There probably are some. I'm just, I'm just going to go with this build for now. If you find any strats, please do let me know. Nimbus Nimbus flies around the bottom and pushes, pushes items and coins back up to the top. Gives all your coins and stuff an extra life, essentially. Who exactly is dropping all the coins and diamonds into your fish tank? The fish are, of course. A really rich child in a dentist's office? No, the fish are pooping them out. It's fish poop. Money is just fish poop. True story. It could be a, a fisherman. A, a, it could be like the Finding Nemo situation, you know? Like the amount of area that these two cover just being here at that last stage, they, they're going to be grabbing so much money. Just like he doesn't move around very fast, but he doesn't need to because the coverage of the food is just insane. Who do we get first? We get double head, I think. Stay in your corner. Stay in your corner. Look, see all the guppies are safe and hidden. Look at that. I love that. As long as we can keep them, aw keep them away long enough. Dig in. Dig in. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, enjoyed today so far. Uh, it was kind of hectic and didn't go the way I planned, but I still had a good day. I still had a good day. Day one of the subathon, I think, still went well. We still had a good time. We made some memories. We we made some achievements. We accomplished things. And they swim towards the money as well, which is great. I didn't know that. I thought they were just going to mosey around doing their own thing. Had a boy, Clyde. Clyde and Stinky. I do like the idea of Nimbus here as well, though, because if, if they miss one and it gets pushed back up to the top, that would be pretty huge. I'd like these other things to unlock now, though, please. How many more fish do I need to have before things unlock? 
Want to be able to drop more than one food at a time, please. We got too many fish. Ah, uh, these guys are back. No! That lion just ate all of them. You fucker. The octopus regains health when he's blue. That's what that means. Die! Keith was dope. I've got, uh, I only had half of it earlier. I've got half left, so I get, I get half. Now after this stream, I'm gonna polish that off before bed. Can't wait. It was really good. It was really good. I, I, you know, Keith's is usually good. But I don't usually get fish. So that was a bit of a change. But it was still good all the same. I enjoyed it. Tomorrow should be interesting though, with food. Trying a, a type of sushi that I've never had before. Gotta rebuild our fish population. Gumbo or whatever his name is did a did a decent job keeping everybody safe, but like the tiger just or lion alien just kind of swam right over them all and just annihilated them. Poor guys never stood a chance. <clears throat> well, looks like we won't finish this game tonight, but we, we do have now two levels, or we will hopefully have two levels finished that we didn't have finished before. And that's progress, my friends. That is progress. And it looks like there's only four levels left after this. So if we do two levels today, two levels tomorrow, and then two levels on Sunday, we can get the insane aquarium magnet this weekend we can put this game behind us finally stop boom okay let's Upgrade this a little bit more. I want to be able to drop more food. Might be a bit of a waste, but I'd rather accidentally spend $5 than lose a whole fish, you know? Get those kingfish. I wonder if they'll ever do an updated version of this. I don't know. what What's Popcat been up to lately? I don't know. Because apparently Peggle is shit now, which is unfortunate. I always liked Peggle. Riddled with microtransactions and stuff like that, I'd imagine. Because you, you tried Peggle recently, didn't you, Schizo? Just no good? Gash's Bite does level 8 laser damage. Oh my... Oh, wow, okay. Damn. So, sacrificing a guppy every now and then versus... Having a level... Yeah, that's not bad. That's a good defense, boy. Oh, we got Clayface coming. Okay. Do focus on Clayface, not looking at the roll, but... Clayface is down. Robot. Robot. Die. Robot. Okay. All right. That wasn't great. But without any laser upgrades, those guys are going to be a menace. Um, hmm. we'll, um, we'll try to get some carnivores in here now as well Fuck, we'll get one in now to get our unlocks 900 oh my god the eggs are even more expensive i should have known i should have known i should have known it's too good to be true 
the mall to be 75. I mean that 99, the rate of mo the the rate of the money income that we had last time. We're doing all right, and we didn't have stinky or Clyde then as well, so our money income should be even higher this time around. In theory. Especially in times where I'm so focused on getting food. First laser upgrade. Clayface again. Okay. No dead fish this time. No dead fish. Clyde, watch out! No dead fish! Starving fish? <laughs> yes. <laughs> but no dead fish. Good, good, good. I'm liking this build. This is working. This is definitely working better. It certainly feels like it's working better. I won't really be able to tell until we get a few more... Uh... More carnies in the water. See if we can maintain this many carnivores. Shark bait! Ooh -ha -ha. Thank you. These these guys all could end up being shark bait for all we know. Just gotta keep them alive. Keep them alive. I hope uh, your day has been good, John Boy. I know you were up pretty early. I guess you had a busy day today for a Friday. Any plans now for the weekend? Are you working this weekend? Are you busy? Are you just chilling? What's what's up? Oh, you're coming home! Right, you're gonna be home. Oh shit, I forgot. That's exciting. Coming home for a wee visit? I don't know if I'll see you. You'll have to stop into Irving on Monday if you're still in town. No. We'll nut together. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Okay, that was a bit of carnage there. A circle nut, there you go, yeah. Circle nut at the Circle K. All right, yeah, we lost all but one of our carnivores there. Great, naturally. Replenish a bit more. Got to get a decent mix. The octopus and the lion alien are just ruthless. They just fly out so fast. At least the alien, the at least Clayhead and the robot, all, they both spawn on the bottom. So like the fish have a decent chance of getting away. The other guys just kind of spawn wherever they want to. Bit of a pain in the ass. Uh, I hope Clyde and them are doing some work here. Hermit Crab would also be good for that, too, yeah. Yeah, because he does boosted damage to anybody that hits the bottom of the tank. I like that he leads them away from the aliens, but he does tend to lead them into the aliens sometimes, especially when an alien spawns right in the middle. Or they spawn on either side, you know, and they kind of get jammed in the middle then. If these guys could just keep showing up all night, that'd be great. These are super easy to deal with. Lovely. Dig in, everybody. Dig in. Do you want a big boy now? Going for it. We're going for it early. Might have been a risk here. We might lose him. But we'll try to keep him around for a little bit at the very least. Yeah, I'm going to try to push some upgrades on the gun as well. Thankfully, the gun upgrade doesn't ever get any more expensive. It's always 5,000, I think. 
no matter how many times you upgrade it. So that's that's huge. Got a chest there, very good. Keep it up, Clyde. You're doing great. You're doing great, pal. You too, Stinky. Keep it up. Don't let any of my loot get lost. Don't lose my loot. Type 2 again. That's good. Good news. Look at them all just swim away. I love that. That's just so good. He's he's GOAT. He's the GOAT. And look, and then all the money just lands right on Stinky. Love that. This is working. Oh my god, he's so goddamn cool! Look at how well he feeds the fish in Zane Aquarium. He's so sick. Look at him go. I gotta try to quiet down a bit now, though. It's almost 11 o'clock. It's almost illegal illegal to be our, uh, loud hours. Oh, I missed the chest. God, I'm clicking. I'm, I'm. We've reached the point again where I'm just ferociously clicking to try to feed everybody. I keep seeing carnivals, carnivores being eaten. I keep trying to replenish them as well. All right, it's, and no kingfish yet either. Hopefully, we'll get some soon. Two again, pretty good, pretty good. Oh, there's there's a fish starvation death. No! Literally the worst place for him to be. And look at all that money just dump right on the stinky. Look at that. Okay, that's alright. We'll we'll replenish. It's 10k to buy one, but like after a few minutes. Well, well, there's 2k of it replenished already. Four k. They pay for themselves pretty quickly. Yeah, five chests he pay for himself exactly. So it, it doesn't take long. There's the third. Plus all the other money that we're getting around him as well. Like it's 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 a pretty it's a fair investment I think. We're, we're on our way now to our first egg piece, I think. This is where it should happen. Gotta keep our eyes on those chests, though, all the same. Okay, I type two again. Let's try to keep them away from our big boy. Yeah, there we go, like that. Like, stop, stop. Don't swim towards them, you idiot. I want to die, he says. Well, I don't, I don't want you to. Ah, there's the kingfish popping up now. Okay, we're going to see a lot more diamonds. Which is great. It's like Minecraft. And just like that. Here we go, here we go. Satellite radio. I'll get hit with the boom, boom. Boom, first one. Okay. Two more to go. Two more to go. Look at the money. Can you imagine if you could make money like this, IRL? Oh, sick kingfish. Kingfish, eat, 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 eat. 
Oh my god, I can't put down food fast enough. Come on, eat! Okay, we got him. Okay, multiple alien signatures. Alright, let's hope it's not the... That was good. That was good. Oh my god, look at it all fall! Oh my god, can you drop food? You can, yeah. But then I can't click the money at the same time, see? It's just all sinking to the bottom. Stinky and Cloud are getting some of it, but like, I'm definitely still getting most of it. Like, look, Stinky and Clyde would have let that, would have let that treasure chest just sink. I guess we can, I mean, we can just keep our eye out for treasure chests, right? And just keep the food coming. While also clicking the treasure chests. That might work. Oh, I missed another one. Crap. Multiple alien signatures. Okay, here we go. This is going to be bad, I bet. This is going to be bad. Yeah. Okay, no, not not too bad. We managed to get them over into a corner pretty quickly. Stay there. Okay, cool. Our guns are pretty strong enough too, so that that also helps. We're gonna get another upgrade though, all the same. Oh my God, the money! Look at it all pouring in. Ah, oh. what a game! What a game! I can see that. Yeah, I could. I could. I can. I can hear the maple story behind it. Absolutely. Okay, almost there now to piece number two. The resistance. Oh man, do we get another another large? I don't think so. I think we can. I think we can play this out now to the end. Just like last time, it might it might take a little bit longer, but I don't want to risk having another one around and losing them. You know. Although having two fish that produced two K chests. Instead of one. Mm. Play face. Dead. No. And dead. And there's piece number two. One more. One more to go. Look at that kingfish. He can't even get in to eat. There's just so many other fish around. All of these adult, like, pregnant fish just keep popping out baby fish that grow into bigger fish, and then eventually... The circle of life. I just watched Stinky grab a chest. Good on him. Chest there. I think you're right with this strat, Matt. It's just just collecting when you can, but then for the most part, just just tossing food in from the top. It's honestly probably the better bet. Multiple 
multiple aliens, okay? This is fine. Not fine, not fine. Not fine, not fine. Alright, we definitely lost some guys there. Aliens are real now, yeah, apparently so. Not only in Insane Aquarium, apparently in our real lives. I don't know, Hank Green did a video on it. Until... You, you basically had some guy, some old pilot, saying that, yeah, I've heard that there's aliens. I've heard that this guy thinks that there's aliens. Like, I, until I see one, I don't, I won't actually believe a thing. I'm hopeful. I, I think it's cool. I'd be down. I'm willing to accept. But, like, until I see proof, it's just a bunch of rich dudes saying that they saw something, and it's like, alright, cool. Show me. Like, <laughs> make it available to the public, and then I'll believe you. ContraPoint said, until Hank Green says the real, I don't believe it. Exactly, yeah. Until I hear it from Hank Green's mouth, I don't believe it. Hank Green could be an alien covering it up. Now, that's something I never thought about before, but you're right. It's, it's, very, it's likely. It's likely. He is very intelligent. Which you do need to be an alien for, so... Not impossible. No, you're right. Hank Green, color of aliens. Oh, shit. You're right. You're right. We got him now. We got him now. His game is up. And he's got a brother? Who does that? Who's also successful? I don't know. He's pretty alien to me. Hank is the na also the name of an alien. Fair, yeah. Oh man, we're losing fish so quickly now. Just to pure starvation. My mouse is breaking. I can't break another mouse today. Oh, my carnivores are dying. There's no babies. I'm clicking and it's just not clicking anymore. I'm breaking another mouse today. 10k left. Come on, we can do this. I can't click I can't click the food out fast enough. Oh my god. Almost there. Almost there. No, aliens fuck off. Aliens fuck off. No! Aliens, fuck off! Oh, thank God. Evil alien mastermind. It didn't come out of the egg, it just came out... Hmm. Evil alien mastermind actually isn't very helpful at all, unless you consider devouring the entire contents of your fish tank helpful. Well... Final boss of doom. Oh my god, did we just beat the game? Pardon me? What is happening? Oh my god, he's the final boss. He spits out little aliens. And all of the other aliens show up to help. Oh my god. I don't ever I don't remember doing this. No, stop eating my friends. I thought there were four more levels. I need to save all the fish. We've lost quite a few of them already, though. Die. 
Ivy evil alien. No, not the dolphin. Play face. No. No. All my friends. Die, 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 die. You can heal all you want, I don't care. Die, 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 die. Please. Please. My fingers. Yes. Okay. Presto the Tadpole. Presto has the ability to metamorph into any of your other pets. You've been awarded 5,000 shells for defeating the final boss. The final boss? Oh! That's a good bonus hour right there. Oh my goodness. Finally. Finally, we can say we have successfully finished Insane Aquarium. Thanks be to Jesus. And look, they're all being brought back to life because of our angelfish. Vods or it didn't happen? Get out of here. Get out of here. That birthday stream might be on YouTube somewhere. I don't remember. We'll see you next game. Insane Aquarium cast. Listen, I'll do it again. But I'm giving, I'm giving myself the magnet. It's going to happen. Beetle Muncher. I remember him. He's a good, good lad. Oh. Fuck this guy. These two guys were fine. I like this guy as well. Bit of a dick. Clayface. Clayface and Octopus. Worst ones. Breeders kind of... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Bilaterus. Cyrax is his name. Okay. His stinky. Itchy. Prego. They really. <laughs> Zorf, Clyde, Itchy, Stinky, Nico, Vert, Rufus, Merrill, Wadsworth, Seymour, uh, Shrapnel, Blip, Bumbo, Rhubarb. Oh, that's cute. Nimbus, Amp, Gash. Angie, Angie, and Presto. That's cute. I like that. Oh, oh, oh. That must be those four other levels. Magnet win. Magnet now, Sassy. We did it. We finished Insane Aquarium. We get the dang magnet finally. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I'm so tired. <laughs> I'm so tired. We earned two magnets today. We finished uh, Luna's Fishing Garden, and we finished Insane Aquarium. So that's magnet number 71 and 72 going onto the fridge. Which I did not expect. There won't be any magnets tomorrow. From what I can tell. It's only 7.30, keep going? Yeah, right? Oh my god. I've been streaming for 12 hours and 41 minutes. I think uh, I think uh, I need to take a break. Let's do all the tall tales and see of thieves. Get that magnet. I mean, we could. That's why I've been streaming them. <laughs> I want the magnet, so. We've done, what, I've done two of them on stream so far? I'm gonna keep going. I, I've been enjoying that solo solo Tall Tales series that I've been doing. It's it's been a really chill way to spend like two hours on a on a Tuesday or whatever. Flying Bear Entertainment and Popcat Games. All right, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in today. It was a blast. Good first day. Good first day. <laughs>